we have a sphere of density rho and there is a cavity at a distance L from center. We need to find the field inside the cavity. So before we solve that problem, let's find a general solution of a field at a surface of a sphere of density rho. So let's find that first. The so field due to a sphere of given density rho at its surface. So that we know is given by minus gm by r square r cap where this is the r vector from the center. So mass is rho into volume of this. So you solve that and you get minus 4 by 3 g rho r vector. So r r cap we are writing as r vector. And we know that a general equation, so if you want to write a general form, if the if you have a big sphere of mass m and radius r, then at a distance r, we have already seen in the previous problem that electric field is given as minus gm r by r cube. So this is E inside. But we, uh, because we are dealing with rho here, so we are going to use this equation. So now let's solve this problem with the cavity. So this is our sphere which has a cavity inside. So by principle of superposition, we can put a sphere, small sphere inside the cavity so that it becomes a whole sphere and then, then we can subtract the same amount. So this uh, is also kept here. So uh, you can just imagine that we are adding and subtracting the same amount at the empty space. So now field at any point is now field due to the full sphere minus field due to the small sphere. So this is our approach. So if we take the point because we need uh, to deal with the point inside the cavity. So let's say that point is P. And let's say that point P is at a distance R1 from the big sphere and it's at a distance R2 from the cavity's center. And the cavity is at a distance A. So if you are writing in vector form, this is R1 vector, this is R2 vector and the position of cavity center with respect to the sphere center is A vector. So basically A vector plus R2 vector is R1 vector. Now, at this point P inside the cavity, so using this concept, we can say field at this point P is field due to the whole sphere. So that will be E1 vector minus field due to the, the sphere which is kept at this point. So minus E2 vector. So yeah, actually yeah, it's much more clearer in this picture. So field at point P is E1 vector minus E2 vector. So E1 vector is in the direction of R1 vector. So E2 vector obviously minus E2 vector will be like this. Now we have already found here the values of the fields in vector form. So we'll put them in vector form here. So E1 vector due to the due to the sphere will be minus 4 by 3 G rho R1 vector just like this and minus of this into R2 vector where R2 vector is this. So now we can see R1 vector minus R2 vector is A vector. So this simplifies and becomes minus 4 by 3 g rho a vector, which is a constant. So it's independent of the position inside the cavity. So it's independent of R1, it's independent of R2. So inside the cavity at any point field is constant and it only depends on the distance between the center of the sphere and the cavity's center. So if it is uniform, we can represent that field by these parallel lines, which are equidistant to each other. So yeah, that's it.